Hi everyone, it's Mari of MariPfeiffer.com and in a previous blog post I talked about WordPress parent themes and WordPress child themes, what they are and why you really should be using a child theme if you're going to be customizing your WordPress site. And in the video I showed you a very simple way of creating a child theme based on the 2011 theme in WordPress. And the 2011 theme, as you probably know, is a default theme that comes with your WordPress installation. So in this session, still using the 2011 theme as the parent theme and the child theme that I created, I'm going to make a few changes to take it from this default look, which is very nice, but I just wanted to customize it a bit. So I'm taking it from this to this. And this looks quite different, obviously, from the parent, the original theme. But the truth is, I only made a few very small changes. And um, it's, I think, proof that you can just make a few small changes and really, you know, give your site an entirely different look. So um, in order to show you what I've done, we're first going to go through WordPress and see what we can change directly through WordPress without touching any code whatsoever. And then after that, I'll show you just a few things you can do with the Firebug extension for the Firefox browser, because that's a wonderful tool to help you uh, customize your site. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so um, the first thing you want to do whenever you start with a WordPress theme is to find out what you can change directly through WordPress without touching any code, without altering any code, without you know, writing new code and then putting it into your style sheet because that's really the easiest way to go. So in the 2011 theme, we're using a child theme, of course, you go first to um, your dashboard and under appearance, find theme options. And here it gives you that um, option between the light color scheme and the dark color scheme. So I changed mine to dark. Um, in the original, the link colors are very bright blue and I changed that to this kind of blah gray. <laughs> and the default layout is content on the left with sidebar on the right. You can change that to either of these. I kept it this way and then I made my save, uh, save my changes. You can also change the background. So if you have some kind of an image that you want to put in the background, of the site page you can do that there or just change the background color I went ahead and changed that background color to this um, almost black and the last thing I did was I changed the header image to this picture this um, picture of our friend with his vintage Citroen now here's something very important I think um, if you're going to change one thing and one thing only on the site um, I think it has to be your header image. That's what really can make a huge difference. As beautiful as these the default images are in this theme, I feel like I've seen them so many times. So, you know, make the time to find a picture or take a picture. Um, the WordPress uh, 2011 creators um, suggest a size of 1000 by 288 pixels. Just browse your computer for that picture, upload it, and you're good to go but do change the header image. It makes a huge difference. You also have the, the option of displaying text above your um, header image or hiding it. I've chosen to display it. And you can also change that text color right here. So those are the changes that you can make directly through WordPress. All right. So now we want to change, let's see which one was it, this one? I'm sorry. Now we want to change the um, font of the site title from this Helvetica to Georgia. We also want to hide this search box and this is something I've never really quite understood but in this theme there are two search boxes one here and one here so we want to hide that one and I also moved the navigation menu the bar from below the header image to up here and I also, what else did I do? I added a shadow around the content area. So um, in the next part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you just a, you know, one or two times how I use the Firebug extension to make some custom changes. And after that, I suggest going to my site and finding the code that I've used here, copying it and pasting it into your own style sheet and going from there. Um, because it would kind of, I think, be a little bit too tedious to take you through each and every step of the way. 
the method I use is completely the same for each step, but it's just easier for you, I think, if um, you go ahead and get that code, just copy it and paste it, and then go from there. You can alter it as much as you want. All right, but let's get started uh, on using that Firebug extension. So if you don't have it already, um, first of all, open your site in uh, Firefox, the browser, and next thing you want is the Firebug tool, the Firebug extension. So if you don't have that already, go to getfirebug.com, download it, and then it automatically adds it to your toolbar in your browser. So once you've got it installed, just click on the Firebug, and it opens um, a window, really, uh, in the lower part of your screen that shows the HTML coding and the CSS coding here on the right of that page that you're looking at. So in this case, we're looking at our child theme based on the 2011 theme. The next thing you want to do is click on the Inspect Element tool. That's this arrow right here with the box. And run your cursor over the different elements. Now, as I'm running my cursor over the different elements in the page, you'll notice that the code below fluctuates. And that's because it's showing, as you highlight each element, it's showing the code, the HTML and CSS code that corresponds with that element. So the first thing I want to do is I want to change the font of the site title. So in order to keep that code steady so that we can change it, I'll click on that site title and it holds everything steady below. Now over here we see it says um, in the CSS box, site title A. It gives you the color, even a preview if you run your cursor over that the font size, font weight, line height, text decoration, and so on. So what I want to do is change this from Helvetica to Georgia. So I'm just going to click on the last line there, and then I'm going to start typing another line, a new line, and this one will say font hyphen family colon, and then I'm going to switch to Georgia. And you probably noticed that the titles, the site titles font changed immediately. So now I'm going to click, um, let's see, I'm going to type comma. It does change it momentarily back to Helvetica, and I'm going to insert times, uh, sorry about the Times New Roman, comma, serif. Okay, now it's, the site title is now in Georgia. So this is what's called a live edit, and when you do this on any site that you visit, if you use the Firebug just to see what kind of code is behind the site and you do a live edit, don't worry, you're not changing that website at all. You're just changing what you're looking at in the monitor, okay? So now that we know that works, what I'll do is um, I'll copy it and then go back to WordPress, go back to the editor this time, and that's the style sheet that we created for this child theme and simply paste that code into the style sheet. Now I've already done that and because the only change that I made to this code was the font family that's all I inserted in here okay I took out all that other stuff like the um, the fonts color its line height, line height and so on because that's already in the existing style sheet so once I made my change I went ahead and clicked update and it made the changes for me. Okay, so that's pretty much how you do it. You just go to, back to um, the site in Firefox, click on Firebug, and click on the Inspect Element. Run your cursor over the element you want to change. So if we want to hide this um, search box, I've highlighted it, I've selected it, and over here in the CSS um, style uh, box area, a code area. If I want to hide that, then the easiest way to do that is to go into that code and click and type in, I'm sorry, display none. And see, it hides it right away. And that's how you make changes in CSS. That's the simplest way of doing it. There are much more, you know, complicated, more expert ways of doing it. But for us beginners, that's the way to do it. So you want to click on that highlight it all, copy it, go back to WordPress, get into your style sheet, and copy it. And see, I've already done that, 
and because the only value that I changed was its display I was able to take out all that other coding um, and then hit update and it's it's hidden that search box for me so um, instead of um, showing you each and every change that I made uh, to create this look I've created a file that um, is available on my website with all the code. You can simply copy it and paste it into your style sheet if you want to try this out. Um, and that will give you an opportunity to see how to do this, um, to also play around with a Firebug extension. As I showed you, just highlight the element that you want to change, click on it, and then change the values right there in the Firebug extension. And then if it works, just copy that, paste it into your style sheet, and you're good to go. Now one final thing, if you don't know much about CSS coding, I strongly suggest going to a site called W3Schools. And W3Schools has all sorts of tutorials and information on all sorts of coding that you, um, you need in order to build websites. So there's of course HTML, HTML5, CSS, and so on. If you click on CSS, it shows you the introduction, the syntax, ID and class, how to, and so on. It goes into a lot more detail than I do. But using that um, Firebug extension and um, consulting this site, w3schools.com, you'll learn a lot about uh, CSS code, HTML code, and the things you can do to change the look and the functionality of your new site. So I hope that this has been helpful to you. If you're really interested in getting the code that I used to change this 2011 theme to this, uh, minus the header image, um, please go to my site. You can copy it and paste it and try it out. And if you do try it, please let me know. I'd love to see what you come up with. So I hope that this has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please let me know. And I'll see you soon.